Disclaimer. This school video project was made jointly between Project Lead the Way Engineering and the BNSF Railway for education purposes only. This video was filmed with permission from BNSF Southern California Division officials. Do not trespass on railroad tracks or land unless permission is granted from the railroad. Be safe around railroad tracks. Enjoy this rare look into the BNSF Commerce Locomotive Shops. Thank you. Have you ever wondered how trains are repaired? Today we're inside BNSF Railway Commerce Locomotive Repair and Servicing Center to see how a special hydraulic device called a drop table is used in the shop to repair locomotives. So how does the drop table work in general? So the way the drop table works, it's utilized for when we have to do traction motor changeouts on locomotives. So the locomotive gets spotted directly over the pit. Depending on the orientation of the traction motor, we do have to move it about six, seven inches uh, so that we can get the center of gravity right there in the middle of the drop table. Uh, there is a small piston that comes up that will support the heavy end or the fixed end of the traction motor. Um, we will chalk the wheels at that point so the traction motor cannot roll. Um, once they get it all secured, we actually have to unbutton a couple items, the sand hoses, um, the J-blocks, a couple of other small items, and then disconnect all the traction motor leads. That's all the electrical components. Once all of that stuff is all disconnected, it generally takes um, three guys 30, 45 minutes to get all that completed. Um, they'll be ready to drop it. So the drop table is actually locked into the rail um, in the raised position. So they will unlock it, which will allow the cylinders to activate. Once the cylinders are allowed to activate, the operator can then uh, use a remote, which will send the table down. It then sends the table over, and then we sends it back up. Um, so it basically makes a big U. When it comes back up to the very top on our uh, additional track, we then remove the um, traction motor that's bad, that is actually there with the crane. So they'll hook a chain up to it, crane it, move it over out of the way. Uh, they will prepare it all to be disconnected, taken wherever it's gonna go to the end of life cycle. Every single day, many locomotives are shuffled through the Commerce Servicing Center. Inside the Servicing Center, locomotives are refueled and checked before their trek across the Southern Transcon. The Southern Transcon is a stretch of mainline track between Los Angeles and Chicago. The Southern Transcon sees an average of 50 to 60 trains a day. That speaks a lot of volume. Without equipment like the drop table, these locomotives will not be able to pull these trains that are essential for the economy of the United States.